welcome back Closet Shopping Collective. My name is Alicia and I am so excited to be here today. I am going to talk about what happens when you are not really sure about your clothes, right? You look at them and you're not sure that you even like them or you wanna wear them. So I'm gonna share what's going on when this is showing up for you. And then of course, I'm gonna share what you're supposed to do so that you can have an inspired wardrobe. Today is, well, actually this week in New York City, the weather has warmed up and it feels different. There's a shift in the air. I was out and about this morning. I actually went to Midtown Manhattan, which I don't think I've been to Midtown in a year. And I had to go up there and take care of some business. And um, it just, like I said, the weather is warmer. People are out and there's this sense of hope that I was feeling. And so it's this possibility of re-entry into the outside world, right? And I've been thinking about this and what is that going to be like for us? What is it going to be like to re-enter the outside world? Specifically, like what's gonna happen with our styles and what we're wearing? Because I was working with a client this week and we were looking at her clothes and she told me that her wardrobe made her depressed. Whenever she looked at everything in her closet, she just did not like any of it and she didn't want to wear any of that, right? So, so that's, um, you know, when you think about re-entry and if you look at your clothes and you don't, if you're not connecting to your clothes, if you don't like them or if you don't want to wear them, then you're not going to feel excited to re-enter into the world. So I was talking to my client about this and then I started thinking about my wardrobe, right? So I started digging around into my drawers. Like I went into my handbag drawer and I saw some of my handbags, my beloved handbags that I haven't used in so long. And I started digging a little deeper and then I found a few things that I really wasn't so sure about. And so it's the same thing for me. So what my client is feeling and what I'm feeling, and you might be feeling this too. It's so you look at your wardrobe and you're just like, oh, I don't know about this anymore, right? So I'm gonna share what's going on if that's happening for you. And then I'm gonna share what you can do so that you feel excited and inspired by your wardrobe, okay? So here's the thing, the pandemic has shifted has made disruptions to our lives right um and some of these disruptions some things are never going to go back i am hearing from some people whose offices their jobs now are going to go fully remote right and i know like for me when i think about my wardrobe um or when i think about my um workout I started working out live to a live stream workout. And so I'm working out at home. I don't know if I'm going to go back to working in this, working out in the studio anymore because the convenience of having to get to a 715 class that's in my living room, I don't know about that. So, so there's been big disruptions in the pandemic, in our lifestyle from the pandemic. Some of these things are not going to go back to how they used to be, right? So that means that you may have permanent changes into your style or into your wardrobe, all right? So here's the three reasons of what's going on with your style or what's going on when you're looking at your clothes and you're not really liking them, all right? So the first thing that you need to figure out is, do I have any more use for this, all right? So as I was saying, the pandemic has shifted our lifestyles and in some ways permanently, you may look at your clothing and you may discover that you don't have any more use for this item, all right? So that's why when you're looking at your stuff, you're like, I don't know about this. I don't really wanna wear this. It's because your lifestyle has changed, right? And it could be um, a change that's lo more long lasting than you had anticipated. So I'm hearing from women who they are now, they are going to be working remotely, permanently. So they have no more use for high heels. They have no more use for their suits, right? So that's why when you look at your clothes and you're unsure about them, it's because you don't have any more use for those items, all right? So for me personally, let me show you what I've got that I saw, all right? So these, this is in my closet. These are my knee-high boots. I love these boots when I got them, but look how high they are, okay? So... I look at these boots now and I am just not sure if 
I'm going to have any more use for these boots anymore. All right. That is a high heel. Um, one, I think this is like a three incher. So I might be one of those women who high heels, like I just don't have any more use for them. So when I look in my wardrobe and then I see these boots, I feel unsure and I'm not, yeah. Like I like to, when I think about re-entry to the outside world, I just don't think these boots are going to go there with me. Right. So that's the first thing you need to look at is that you may not have any more use for those items. Okay. So the next thing that may have happened and why you're feeling a little like eh, about your wardrobe is because your taste has changed. All right. So if your taste has changed, then you're going to look at these things, these garments, these items, these accessories, and, and you're going to be like, I don't really like those anymore. So this is what happened um, with my client, the woman who feels depressed by her wardrobe is because she has a lot of skinny jeans, a lot of distressed skinny jeans. She bought those because she thought that those were, um, she thought that those were good for her and she actually bought them a while ago. So a year is a long time. Our preferences and our taste, it shifts and it changes in that time. So there is a good possibility that you may not like those pieces in your wardrobe anymore, okay? That happens, all right? So I noticed that, I discovered that for myself. And um, for me, it was this blazer. I have this blazer here, right? So it's, um, you know, I bought it in, in 2019. It was like, it was like great. I like wore it all the time. It was definitely one of my star players, right? This blazer. And then, so now when I was looking in my clothes, I don't know, I, I was kind of questioning it. And I'm not gonna lie. You remember the um, the the trial, the Donald Trump, um, the trial, the impeachment trial. That's what it was. Do you remember his, what his attorney wore? His attorney kind of wore something similar to this, and I saw it, and I was just like, oh no. So that may have impacted my opinion a little bit, but it was already changing. It was already changing before that, right? So. So now I look at this and I'm just not so sure that this blazer is really me anymore. All right. So that might be happening to you. All right. So you might have things in your wardrobe, like maybe like my client, like maybe you were all about your distressed skinny jeans. And then in this past year, as you know, we've, we've grown, we've changed right in the past year, we change every year. So you might notice that some of those things that are in your closet you don't like them anymore. And that's why you don't want to wear them. Okay. So the third, so number one is because you have no use for it. Number two is because your taste has changed. And then number three, the reason that you don't want to wear it is because it's uncomfortable, right? So pandemic living, I believe has, um, our tolerance for uncomfortable clothes is like zero, right? We're at zero tolerance for uncomfortable clothes. So now if you look at certain, maybe it's jeans, right? Maybe you've been wearing your leggings so much that the thought of wearing jeans is like, oh, I can't do it anymore. Or, or maybe it's a blazer, right? Like my blazer. Um, maybe you don't want the, the structure or the restriction that a blazer gives you, right? So I know that for me, I've been really looking into wireless bras lately because even my bras are feeling a little bit tight lately, but then I've got something else. Um, when this is, goes back to my handbags, um, so this is a handbag that I loved. Again, got so much use out of this and loved it so much in 2019, but it's got a chain metal, like a chain link um, strap. I mean, it has this cushion here, but what happens is I would be, you know, trekking around the city and I would load my bags up for the day. Like sometimes even my laptop would go in there, right? I would go, I used to do a co-working space and now just the thought, uh, and it would hurt, it was heavy. So now the thought of trekking around with this bag that kind of hurts my shoulder because it's so heavy, I just don't know if I'm going to want to do that anymore, right? So you may have noticed that your tolerance for discomfort has really skyrocketed, skyrocketed and you don't want to wear anything that feels even remotely uncomfortable, all right? So those are the three reasons why you don't like your clothes anymore, all right? So you have no use for them, your tastes have changed, or they become uncomfortable, all right? So now I'm gonna share what to do when you want to have that inspired wardrobe, all right? So what you need to do to get that inspired wardrobe is you need to realign, okay? So you need to look at the pieces in your closet and you either need to find new ways to wear it 
or clear it. Okay. So for example, that blazer, all right, maybe what I need to do is just find some new ways to wear that blazer. Like maybe if I put that blazer, it was kind of a, you know, it's a oversized blazer. Maybe if I put that over a fitted dress or something like that, um, something really feminine, maybe that would bring more life into that garment for me. And then I would like it again. Right. Or if not, then I need to just clear it. Okay. So this is something that you can definitely do on your own, right? You can get in there and you can try to figure it all out on your own, or you can join me in my brand new group styling program, 90 day refresh. This will be way more fun for you. So in this group styling program, I'm going to help you see not just what to wear, but how to wear it. Okay. So, you know, those items in the back of your closet, those pieces that they've been sitting there for a really long time and you still like them, but you just never know what to do with them. I'm going to give you lots of new ideas for what to do with them. Just like I would do with my celebrity clients when I was working on set, when I was putting together fresh outfits for them, I'm going to do the same thing for you. Okay. Or if your clothes have grown outdated, then I'm gonna help you see that, all right? So here's one of the issues. Here's why another reason why you've been struggling with getting dressed. It's because you're getting dressed based on who you used to be, all right? So you're looking to the past, what you used to like, right? What used to fit you well, your previous lifestyles, okay? So that's what's making it confusing for you, all right? You have changed, maybe your body has even changed, and it's really important that your style reflects these changes, okay? You don't wanna show up as an older, outdated version of yourself. And when I say outdated, when I talk about outdated clothes, I'm not just referring to what's in style, I'm referring to who you are and who you've become as a person, all right? You want your style to reflect this, who you are and who you are becoming, okay? So in my program, in the 90 day style refresh, you're going to capture your true beauty. You're going to look inside and you're going to express this on the outside. All right. Now this program is going to cover the basics like body shape and color palette. So you're going to know how to highlight your true beauty so that you show up looking vibrant, but we're also going to go deeper. We're going to reconnect to who you are and who you're becoming, right? We're really going to bring that out. So you're going to see that getting dressed can feel like second nature and then your outfits are gonna come together like magic, all right? So also it's gonna be a really amazing group of like-minded women. So there's gonna be a sense of festiveness in the air as we all go through this together, right? So if you want to feel more energy, it more energized, right? If you want to be in community with like-minded women, if you want to feel good about yourself, right? If you want to have more fun, then this program is definitely for you, all right? So I am going to pop the link over here so that you can go click the link and then you can go check it all out and see what this 90 day style refresh is all about. And if you have any questions, then I'm here to answer your questions. And you'll even notice when you're on that page, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there is an option that you can book a call with me. So if you do have questions, I'm happy to answer these questions. There's no obligation to get on the call. I'll just help you make a decision if this program is right for you or not, all right? So click the link, check out the new group styling program. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. I will be in the group all next week. I love seeing all your engagement. I hope that it is getting you to think more and to think deeper about your personal style. That is my intention for you. And that's it. So I will see you next week here. I'll be back with a brand new live styling tutorial. All right, take care of yourself. Bye.